guys, it is a super special day. Not only are we out here at beautiful River Run ATV Park, but I'm here with my bud, Matt Hamby. How are you, Matt? Good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. Good, but good. It's, it's exceptionally special because this week, UTV Bogger Drop. And so I thought, man, there's no better occasion. Come out here to River Run ATV Park. We'll, we'll put it in front of everybody, let everybody kind of look at it. But straight out the gate, man, I wanted to meet Matt, just kind of give us some thought. Matt, you've been, you've been riding for a long time. Long time. This dude, Too many tires. Yeah. yeah, this dude has, has been in it for a minute. So I thought, well, dude, let me go out here and I'll get first impressions from Matt, and then we'll, you know, we'll, we'll kind of meander around through the park and, and let everybody kind of take a look at it. But dude, what's your first thoughts on this, man? You, you kind of seen some pictures. We've seen the marketing materials a little bit, but they're here now. What do you think, man? In person, just looking at it, the first thing you notice is the lugs. The lugs are big. I mean, this three-stage lug that that they have for the TSL tires just for pulling grip and clean out. I mean, you get your different stages here showing the, the different stuff and man, it's just massive. I know that they come between one and a half to two and a half inches per model and just it's an eight ply tire and it just looks super nice. But yeah, uh, but yeah I read also that if you order, they, they come in sizes between a 27 and 31 inch available right now and if you order a 31 inch tire you get a 31 inch tire so it's true to form not like some of the other tires that you order out there so yeah first impression you just notice the lug right off the bat and it's just a nice looking tire yeah and so just to kind of give us a little comparison basis on lug i brought a traditional bogger with us here today this is the the old school bogger that everybody knows and loves and uh you can just put them side by side apples to apples and you can really see Dude, the, the UTV bogger lug is crazy, and so that's that's the biggest point um, Matt's discussed is, is the lugs. Also notice that we've got the downswept points on them that give some additional bite and grab in there. Uh, so that's one unique design to that. Also, the side lug pattern, the side lugs give you that extra grip when you're trying to dig out in those the, the, the telltale UTV, ATV ruts that we see out here on the trails, man. So that gives you an extra little bit of grip there. And probably the number one thing that everybody's asked me or, or mentioned to me when we started having the discussion about this tire is, can I cut them? Yes, they are a tunable tire. So you can go in, you can cut out the lugs that you don't want, make this whatever design that you feel is best for your application. So that's super cool. I'm excited about that. Um, availability has also been a, a thing that everybody asks about. So second container of these have come in and they're already almost gone so super super popular yes we can get them they are available uh, like matt mentioned their sizes 20 27 up to a 31 14 and 15 inch wheel uh, a little a little bug told me that 33s and 35s are here so um we're gonna get our hands on some of those uh, this week so i'm excited about that um in the future we're gonna project say christmas cross our fingers up to 47s in this tire so That'll be exciting for you guys that want to either put it on a Jeep, uh, you want to put it on your big UTVs. Um, possibility, this possibility is endless, man. You can throw it on a Honda if you want, I guess. But um, those are coming out, so excited to be able to get our hands on those in the future and uh, see what you guys do with them in the field. So really excited just to be able to, to get this in your hands, let you guys bolt them up, see how they are in the field. Haven't seen a lot of firsthand experience with them yet. The tire just dropped, but uh, that's our goal get these in uh, the hands of the consumer. This set specifically goes out to my man Rob Abbott. He's a Triple X VIP member. He won this set last week. So congratulations to Rob. He's excited to be able to get those bolted up. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneak around behind him, be the paparazzi in the bushes, see how this truck does and, and uh, see, see what the tire does for him out in the field. So super excited. Um, Matt, any thoughts on this man? What, what are you thinking? You no, I mean, as far as compared to other tires, they're the same in the same weight category also so if you're worried about the weight on um, I want to say this was a 31 I think it was like 47 pounds something around that nature so I mean com very comparable with the other tires a lot less than some of the bigger tires too so, so yeah, yeah sorry, so what's like a, a assassinator goes up to what you mentioned like 80 pounds oh uh, yeah well yeah some of the some of the big bigger tires assassinators the mambas the old pass yeah they 80 pounds a piece yeah, so, so you know, we're sitting here in a 47 to 52 pound range. Your rotating mass is going to be less. You guys go in and you scoot these tires, they're going to weigh even less. So, a lot less. Um, that's a consideration. You could probably put them on a diet and uh, have a lot less rotating mass there. And then they become extremely competitive in uh, some of your faster category applications. So, so keep that in mind, guys. I mean, the, the possibilities, they're endless with this tire. Um, really excited to be able to get them out on the field and let you guys get your hands on it. They're, they're priced very competitively 
for, for where they are. Um, they're going to cap out full retail at about 207 for full size uh, tire here today. Uh, some of your smaller sizes in the $170 range. So that's uh, that's pretty aggressive oh, as far as pricing goes for you know cutting edge tire. So um, you know as always, you guys know we're an Interco dealer. If you're looking for these, you send us a message, man. We'll get you a quote on these. Um, we can do some drop shipping. Obviously, you save money if we can uh, hand off at any of the events that we'll be at. So either way, we'll get you fixed up on these, man. I'm excited to be able to get them out on the field. And uh, I want to see these tires oh, yeah. on your rigs in the future. Now, one more thing to keep in mind. Since we are a dealer, we're doing special things with Interco. So y'all keep a close eye out, man. We're having conversations about doing some Triple uh, X branded rubbers here in the near future. So um, we'll, we want to hear your feedback because it's a special design tire. Um, we'll keep that on the low right now just because uh, it's, it's an R&D. But I do want to get some feedback from you guys. What you need to see in a lug. Is, is this right? Is this wrong? What do you need in a in a 50 plus inch tire to make sure that you come out the, the back side of the pit a winner? And that's uh, that's our goal for you guys. So keep that in mind, guys. If you want to share a little bit of feedback from to us, you know what you need to see in the field to make you successful, then come at us and uh, you will see something 2021. So I'm excited about that. Thanks again, Matt. Thank you. Appreciate your time, buddy. Looking yes, forward sir. to seeing you exactly this weekend. Yeah. Huh? All right, Patrick, man. I, I need to get your first hand opinion of what you think about these. It's the first time you've seen them. So let's uh let's go ahead and look at them, brother. Here, I, I got you a good comparison basis. So here's the traditional bogger right here. In relation to give you the, the UTV bogger. What do you think, my man? Pretty nice, man. What do you think? Looks good. So the lug look Wait at the lugs. To see somebody cut them now. Yeah, the lugs are deeper. They have a definite tunable potential. You can cut them, mm -hmm. put them on a diet. Side lugs. I think it's going to have a lot of potential. So would you run something like this in like a, I don't know, maybe like a 42 or a 47? Nah, we need a 50. You need a 50? Okay. Yeah. Hey, I'll take you back. 47, we'll, 47 or a 50. We'll, we'll take you back and throw it out there, dude. 47s will be here about Christmas. So uh, if you're looking for They'll that, duplicate we can do it. the 49 like the I Rock. It'll be yeah. Now if you're looking for a 50 plus, then we're gonna have something 2021. But you got to be patient. But it's coming. Plenty of time. We call it the Triple X tire incognito for now. Yeah, plenty of time. <laughs> cool, cool, brother. Thanks I for the feedback. So um, I need some some candid feedback here, real quick. Can I buy like 30 seconds of your yeah, time? Yeah, Being the day. professional you are. So I've, so I've got something new here. It's brand new. It's the new UTV bogger. So I know you being in the industry, you probably want to coon finger this a little bit. These, these so, here? So this is your traditional bogger. This gives you kind of a basis of comparison. This is your new UTV bogger. So just straight out the gate, man, you can you can see obviously the lugs are deeper. Uh-huh. Yeah, the lugs are deeper. A little bit of a side lug here too. Oh yeah. Eight ply, plenty of cut. Yeah, that's badass, man. I'm thinking that these are these are probably going to go on a diet for somebody. That Indeed. seems to be the number one thing people ask me: Can you cut them? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Hey, Chris. Say hello to you, man. Yeah, yeah, that's badass, man. Those going to do well for sure. We're going to get them in some larger sizes, dude. They're coming. This is just kind of the first batch. So we got some 35s that actually just dropped this week, and then we'll go we'll go up to 47. So 47 on 24s. Yep. On 24s? Yep. Oh, fuck yeah. No, wait, no, wait. I told you wrong. 38s on 24s. Oh, okay. 47s will go to a 20. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, yeah. so here, here's the thing. We got a triple X tire coming. Oh, shit. And this is the thing that I want to kind of hear from you guys on what you need in a tire, because it's going to be stuff that, that yeah. performs in that market. Yeah. So that's the kind of destination we're going for there. So you start for thinking about... triple X tire? Yeah. So you start thinking about what you need in something of that caliber. And then that's kind of what we're going to build now. You, know, you need a 26 build inch you, wheel. Build you like a six ply, four ply mold. So Super it's light. already like yep. a benefit. When you sell it, you ain't got to scoop it. You ain't got to shave it. Right. Out of the box. Or you go even farther extreme. Shave a four ply. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You know, you're, you, you kind of step into a realm of liability uh, on something like that. So it's, it's a fine line. But I mean, hell, like you said, dude, you're, the rotating mass. It goes down real fast when you do that. Yeah, but I don't see why a six ply tire is not okay for the side by side, you know, as far as liability. It's not DOT. Right. It's just gonna be, you know, coming back on you, the roots stabbing them. Yeah, that's the only thing. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's a fine line on what you roll out in, in bulk. This will be yeah. a specialty line, so yeah, it's gonna it. go to a specialty group of people. 
How many sizes they got out now? This is, I think there's five sizes, so it goes up to a 31, a 14, and a 15 inch wheel. And then the 33s and 35s, uh, oh, those yeah. just dropped, so those will be here uh, now. Yeah, and then we'll do the 38s and 47s that's around Christmas. You know, because people are like, their machines are trail machines, mud machines, mountain machines. Yep. That's a good all around tire. Oh, yeah, for sure. And it's not radically heavier either. I mean, they're 47 to 52 pounds. Oh, yeah. So, oh, and then yeah. you, you trim them, then that's right, going to be even right, lighter. Right, right. So, it shouldn't, you know, if you, if you drive it within scale of what your rig's designed for, it shouldn't be axle snappers. Hell yeah, man. That's badass. Well, cool, brother. Thank you for the feedback. Yeah, Always value your opinion. Sir. Good to have PCF in the scene. So, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. All right, so. This man may be a little bit biased, but this is Bobby Cobb, and he is a tried and true bogger enthusiast. And so I figured if anybody is going to have some real feedback about some new boggers, it'd be this man right here. So these are it, sir. This is the new UTV bogger. What do you think? Pictures don't do them justice. I mean, they, they're gnarly. I mean, you know, if I get a set, when I get a set, I'm going to cut them. Oh, no doubt, dude. You uh, put them on a diet, these things, yeah, they lean out nicely. Yeah, I, I mean, that's... They look good. I mean, that's all, all you can say. Can't say anything, but they they look top notch. I got a little bit of side load on now, you know, hopefully they clean out okay in the holes. And like you said, she... I already know where I'm, what I'm, I'm not gonna tell anybody because I don't wanna get my signature. I already know what I'm cutting off of. It ain't gonna be much, but the, the loads look awesome good, and they feel good. There's some different things you can do with them. You can scoop them and, you know, you could probably make that look, you know, a half dozen different ways. Yeah, most definitely. Um, Reduce that rotating mass. I mean, I, I don't really think that they'd be too heavy, even on a, nah, you know, nah, a nah. entry level rig. Nah, they're good, and I'm just ready to see the big sizes. Yeah, that's going to be the kick. So 35 just dropped this week. I'm going to go pick those up. So we're getting there. So, yeah, it's going to take a little time. 38s and the 47s are on the way. We're thinking maybe Christmas ish, but yeah, so 47s, far. 47s, that's what I want to see because of Ryan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like I like the Ryan. Yeah, it's like a 14.5, dude. That's going to be yeah, a it's gonna big footprint. Yeah, it's got, that's, that's probably going to be one. I need some solid first-hand feedback on what you think about this new UTV bogger, man. I've got you a traditional bogger here. Got you a new UTV bogger. What do you think? Here, put your hands on, bro. I think you need to get, let me try to set out. We can do it. We can do it, man. <laughs> I can put that, um, well, hell, we could probably get Gavin put him on his bike, see what he thinks. 31's a little big for his bike. Or you mean his big bike? That's a little small for his big bike. Well, that's just wheel speed, that's all that is. Are they heavy? What about, uh, those are 50? 50 pounds? And then hell, you know, you can trim these, put them on diet, dude. They would be a lot less rotating mass. You spin them out? Yeah, they're pretty sick tires. A little bit of side lug. I've been thinking about putting on a set on uh, my hunting defender. Right. What size tire are you running there now? Is that a 35 on there? That's a 30 right now, but I'm going to go to a 35. Okay. They make a 35. 35's just dropped this week, man. So I'm going to go and pick up a set. So uh, that'd be a cool little tire run on there. A practical tire, dude. I, you know, you could take them hunting. You could still take them bogging. You could you could do whatever you need, I feel like. Right. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Cool, man. Well, thank you for the feedback. That's what I mean. I like to hear from the professionals in the field, like David. <laughs> Gives the nose his stuff. He's on the bike. What you think? A little sturdy was, but they got to put these on my buggy. We're trying to out. Fit. Just swap them right now. Hey, they are 31s. They up. will fit. There you go. Let's do it, man. I want to get like some real world footage here. You ready to get wild? Pull up on two wheels? <laughs> I've been wanting to see these in person. There you go. I mean, you compare that to the traditional bogger there, and you can see it's evolved nicely. Yeah, they got way more. They have 36s? Uh, it'll be a 35, will be close to 35. Okay. 33, and a 35, 38, and then 47. Okay. Got some potential, man. It's hard to hit everybody's tire size, but yeah. you ought to be able to find some sort of niche that'll fill. Oh, yeah. You could shave all this off and cut all these small ones out. I'll do it. Yeah, the same. Tough D's. You'd be in a whole different class of what you'd be trying to do then. Like, you'd be in like a, like a CMR or something. Side by side. Yeah. space this is going to be on the shorter end of the spectrum. You go to that 47, it's going to have a two and a half inch lug. Jesus. So the lugs are getting bigger, they scale with yeah, the tire. Yeah, nice. A lot of potential. Excited for man. The first container sold out in four hours. It's gone. 
And we've got a second container now. I got these off second container. And they're they're basically gone now. If you love Triple X YouTube videos, but you just hate the ads, if you guys want to see the latest Triple X YouTube content before all your buddies, if you want the best deals on the products and apparel that you guys love, then you need to be a Triple X VIP. Just $19.95 a month, you get everything above, plus you get a distinguished Triple X VIP pack. Just visit XXXMotorsports.com, get everything that you need right there.